hello to my beautiful chicken nuggets. We're gonna vlog today, 4 p.m. and I'm just getting ready for the day. I don't know if anyone else's work schedules go bonkers this time of year. I'm in a lot of like pre-holiday rush zone to get a lot of work projects done before people completely disappear from corporate America for like the entire month of December and you can't get a hold of them to get any approvals. Literally just putting makeup for my first time on my face uh, at 4 p.m. today, but it is what it is. This video is actually sponsored by Merit, which is a brand I've worked with in the past. They've just provided some products for me to use today. First up being the Great Skin skin serum. I have really, really scaled back my skincare routine. I'm working with a dermatologist because I had some hormonal acne that was pretty stubborn, so I was kind of hesitant to try this, but I got this a week ago in the mail, and I have no negative side effects to speak of. You can apply this before or after moisturizer. I've tried it both ways, and it's great. Apply it to clean hands, a couple pumps, and I would say this is like a skincare primer vibe definitely on the more skincare spectrum than makeup but just kind of evens your skin tone has good ingredients and minimizes pores right this is from the drugstore and has been my go-to foundation for a while it's my neutrogena serum foundation i was on an ilia kick for a while but this is just as good and 20 dollars cheaper so Use the pipette to get some of that on my hands. Do I need any concealer? <laughs> this art uh, lighting is a little bit interesting. I'll just dab a little bit under the eyes, shall we? This is also by Merit, but I bought it with my own money because I'm a real customer too, you guys. Means you can really trust me. This is the Bronze Balm. I really like bronzer. I'm usually a powdered bronzer guy, but this is real easy to blend. Okay, quick, quick brush of the old eyebrows. And then my favorite Merit product is the Flush Balm in Beverly Hills. I love blush, I love a cream blush. I do it pretty high on my cheeks and then a little bit on my nose. Tap it in, requires almost nothing of you. And then you're done, okay. I have a code in my bio if you want a discount on Merit products. I really, really recommend them. I feel like they're a grown up version of some of the direct to consumer makeup brands that you may already know and love, like Glossier or whatever. They're also in Sephora too, so if you prefer shopping online, you can use that. But they're having a big Black Friday sale, so thanks for tuning in and watching me get ready at four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, you can move your thing back. Is this why my stuff is always broken? Yeah. This is bullshit. <laughs> Look at this art house lighting on my new perfectly applied makeup. Do you love it? Is my it drama? Is it drama? I also bought myself a chocolate advent calendar for the holiday. Uh, how do I open this? Didn't we consult the blog about whether or not I need a 55 inch or 65 inch TV and everyone was pretty much on my side. No, that has never happened, but I like your revisionist history there. I think it was, I think that is what happened. Spoiler alert for this holiday vlog, everyone. We will be going to Best Buy today. Probably. What size is this, 32? No, this is like basically 50. No, it's not. This is a 32 inch TV and it's already huge. Kiki's on a sick one. Oh my god. Oh my god, Kiki. Stop moving this. The video's <laughs> on. Uh, that was my tripod during my glamorous makeup tutorial. <gasps> Some things have happened in the house that I can show you. One, we have an arch right here in the doorway now. And this entire room is drywalled. Very exciting. My dog has depression, it's nothing new. And then, the stucco got repaired here for our gorgeous, gorgeous two new windows. We're not gonna paint for like a year, so this is gonna look pretty bad, but it's all covered and insulated now. It's pretty exciting, right? Um, 
We also dug up all of the concrete. This was all concrete here. We dug up all of the concrete and I wanna do like big pavers connecting the two driveway zones and then plant a lot of low plants. We're gonna be removing these because they're just like ugly weed trees. We're gonna be removing these oleander bushes because they're actually very poisonous to dogs. So I wanna do like a bunch of cacti, maybe some grasses. Maybe some like decomposed granite or rocks. Just like make it very deserty, you know? That's the update here. They cut this like curve. So it goes with the contour of the driveway. That's my neighbor's let's go Brandon flag. Just to prove that I'm in Arizona. Isn't that cursed? Isn't that the worst thing you've ever seen? They're literally in their 80s. It's like get a freaking hobby you bigots. Um, that's my dog. Those are our house updates. Shall we do a reading update? I think we shall. So I just reread The Secret History for Jalen's book club. I haven't read this since I was probably very early 20s and I remembered loving it. And can't say that was my experience on the second time. I'm very interested to see of the participants who are reading this for Jalen's book club if they felt the same. I found it incredibly corny from the characters to the writing to the plot from the twin incest from the setting. Um, it's just kind of not what I look for in a book at all anymore and <laughs> that's not to say I wasn't like incredibly gripped by it and stayed up late reading it multiple nights in a row so I could remember how Bunny gets murdered and what the twist is. That is not a uh, spoiler. Bunny getting killed is on the first page of this book. So, I don't know. It's like a 550 page long book that I can't say I thoroughly enjoyed reading, but it was fun. It was kind of like junk food. And sometimes you need junk food. It came along when I needed it the most, which was during a very busy work season and when I just kind of wanted some escapism and kind of low stakes because I had already read it, right? Interesting. That's that's the Donna Tart I read. I want to watch, I want to listen to the podcast now that goes about her and that's like, I think it's fictionalized about her and David Foster Wallace's time at Bennington College. Maybe it's real. I don't know. I hear it's scandalous and fun, so maybe I'll eventually get to that. I'm also reading How to Read Now, which is a Sunny's Book Club pick. It's a collection of essays about critical thinking and reading, reading in this current landscape, and how to use your brain. Lots of big chunky theory stuff in here. It is mostly landing for me, but not all of it, which I think is interesting and will make for a good book club discussion, which is a Saturday. So we'll see. We'll see there. I've never read her fiction, but uh, this is obviously something I think about a lot is being a reader, how to digest media. How to digest fiction, really. I'll talk about more of that on the live stream. <laughs> and then last night I picked up The Goodbye People by Gavin Lambert. This is one of those, is it McNally editions? How do I know? Yeah, this is one of those McNally edition books where they have the, the flap cover where it has the image on it, which I love the book design of, but it's kind of impractical and annoying when you're reading it. This is set in like 50s, 60s LA. Uh, it's blurred to be compared to Christopher Isherwood's kind of writing style. He wrote A Single Man, which I really liked reading a couple of years ago. And I feel like it's going to be very rich character studies of the kind of characters that you can imagine inhabiting a California landscape in the 50s and 60s. The first woman that I read about last night is named Susan Ross. Kind of an interesting ex-model starlet who married a ugly man for love, not money. And she is navigating her life post his death. I'm kind of unsure who the narrator is who's telling us these stories. I need to maybe reread that once I uh, <laughs> get back into the book, but it's a writer. So maybe a little auto-fiction vibes here, a little early auto-fiction. I'm liking it, it feels gossipy. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy day. Happy turkey day. Happy day. Happy corn pudding day. 
Happy snack day. Happy snack day. Happy day. Happy. Happy day. <laughs> Happy days day. Okay. Um, <laughs> last year you got the Kigi special of Thanksgiving. That was last year. Oh my god, it was. Yeah. I am missing that. We're not cooking this year, which is weird. I should be... I should be frantically running around the kitchen, drinking delicious pumpkin beer, mm -hmm. telling Joe to turn the TV down. Mm -hmm. You'd probably still be in your pajamas. As God intended. Uh, and it just, it's not cold. Nothing, nothing is... Nothing's making sense. Nothing is festive. In our neck of the woods. <laughs> but I'm the one who cooked this year. I made a... I am. Okay, you, you did... I don't know if it's cooking. I, how is making a pie and making that that's, dip not cooking? That's baking and making a snack. Okay, <laughs> well I made two dishes to contribute to our family Thanksgiving. Not Kiki, she made zero. I made zero, but I did some dishes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go over to my mom's house in a bit after my pie's done. My dad's here, do you wanna say hi to him? Hello everyone. Yes, I'm here, happy Thanksgiving. 11 years ago today. I received the gift of life, a liver transplant. No turkey that day. Peace out. Okay. You heard him, folks. Um, we got a new TV last night. <laughs> a 55-incher, much to my chagrin. Kiki talked me into it. I think my parents are splitting a washer and dryer for us for Christmas that they're gonna buy tomorrow, which is very exciting. Uh, we have some lime wash samples to do later this weekend. We got a dumpster. Oh yeah, show we did get dumpster. a dumpster. Should I show you? Show the dumpster. Okay, also we took this like sunshade off in this room and can you, you probably can't tell how much brighter it is in here, but we're loving it. ba da ba 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 uh, the dumpster's right there. <laughs> it's a nice dumpster. My dad texted me yesterday and said, I'm having a dumpster delivered to your house because he was sick of all of our construction trash. You don't like it? Is it like a Star Wars thing? No. Where'd you get it? It's costing almost $200 in this stupid shirt sweater. Let me see where you got it. I got it at Macy's. It's... Murano. Mm. Very interesting, very interesting. I thought it looked like a, a, a sun or a planet exploding. It does. Welcome to Thanksgiving, everyone. Hi. It's Mama Son. Hi, I'm doing dishes. Right? That's where all mothers are in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Yeah, yeah, look at Sierra. Papa, say hi to all my devoted fans. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Do you have a message for them? Excuse me, I got a mouthful of food. Okay, yeah, put it back on me. I'm okay. good. She's ready now. Hi, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Uh, we're going to have a fabulous day with a lot of good food. Sierra looks great. <laughs> Someone should put the camera on her. Oh! It's a mash. What are they called? Purse tour. A mash. I don't know, sprouts, I think. Dad, here's yes. your $2 bill. You want me to model it for yeah. you? Yeah. Let's see it. <laughs> That's what's happening. I like it. These are the four games I got for that were on sale for Black Friday. Lonesome Village, Ship of Fools, Rainbow Billy, and Pid. They're all kind of cozy action adventure games. I think I'm gonna play Lonesome Village first. What's Pid about? Pid is like a puzzle game. I don't really know what it's about, but it was $1.99, so I'm sure it's gonna be terrible. Yeah. I'm just doing the lounge. Hi, it's Saturday. No, it's Friday. It's the Friday after Thanksgiving. I'm rushing out the door trying to meet my dad. We're gonna go to the farmer's market together. It's gonna make you dizzy, are you ready? I'm sorry. We're gonna go to the farmer's market together and then we are going to go to 
Target. <laughs> um, not really because it's Black Friday, but because we need house stuff. Like cleaning product stuff. And I gotta move my car because Kiki's driving. Really wanna see Bones and All, the new Timothy Chalamet, director of Call Me By Your Name movie. Highly doubt I can get Kiki to co-sign on that though, so we'll see where that actually leads us. I wanna build all this patio furniture today, which is still in boxes over there, so I can kind of claim the carport as the outside dining chilling space that I intend to. We got a new washer and dryer. My parents went halvesies and bought us a new washer and dryer for Christmas using a Black Friday sale, which is great. It's the second washer and dryer set they've bought us. <laughs> they did that a few years ago at our Portland house. Um, very generous, very lovely. So we gotta prep for that. And then also I am doing a small business Saturday sale for Sundays this weekend. Only sale I'm doing this year. So I'm gonna get this up tonight. So if you see it tomorrow on Saturday, there's still time. 20% off site wide. Help me, help me get rid of some of this stuff, you guys. Come on. Come on now. Hi. No, no, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> That's some cool stuff over there, sweetie. Where? Inside that, that lake. The pottery? I, yeah, I've been to every stand. Oh, I bought you something right here, matter of fact. You here. bought me something? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, okay. This is for like a Halloween, so when you go out Halloween, maybe. But it's all made by the, oh. them ladies with these beads over here. But anyway. Now that is cool. No, it's just, it's pretty beautiful though. See this? The beads? Yeah. They make them right behind you there. They're Gorgeous. Beautiful. You think you're ever gonna wear this? Oh yeah, I'm gonna wear that every day. Close my book, close your eyes, I'll be here in the morning. Close your eyes, I'll be here. Mm-hmm, you heard him. <laughs> okay, very, very, very short vlog. These last couple of days, but I'm gonna sign it off here. A couple of my friends. Show them the junk. What do you mean? The dumpster again. No. <laughs> A couple of my friends from high school are coming over and hang out. I'm gonna go see that Timothy Chalamet movie with my dad. Kiki's not coming, we didn't convince him. He hates the movies. It's probably one of the things we fight about most. What? What? All right. Love you guys. See you later. <laughs>